see them? Well, open your damn eyes in. It's the old-timey country down-home red state update podcast and them. Coming to you from a bunker underneath Jackie's Market in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And here they are, both of them. Hey there, welcome to Red State Update. My name is Jackie Brawls. Folks, people, this is Dunlap, uh, your friend, and we all need friends these days, uh, particularly friends who do not storm the Capitol. No, I am. Social distance, friends. Now, social distance, friends. Social distance, uh, number one. Number two, uh, don't storm the Capitol, friends. Yeah, maybe those could flip flop, maybe. Maybe they're equal. Why? I mean, social distance, friends, and friends who don't storm. I'm going to say friends who don't storm the Capitol. You don't want it is number one. And then social distance, because that's your own personal safety. Social distance. We'll, well put yeah. that social distance, friend, number two. Don't be friends with people who would storm the Capitol, number one, because we want to shame them and, uh, you know, shock them when they find out that they're not going to be the face on the new $5 bill, but instead, hopefully, are going to prison. Oh, they're going. Some of them are definitely going to prison. I hope they wait to convict them before, the uh, you know, the current president who's still sitting his butt in there uh, is gone, so he doesn't get a chance to, to pardon. Can he pardon them before charges, before before they, you know, have to sit down. I mean, can he ride up, pardon a buffalo head man or something before he See, gets? That's, where would he get a list of these traders? Because he basically would just have to go horn guy carrying the, the podium guy lectern, sir. Uh, him to does he have like a secretary at this point? Is uh, well, I guess he could ask Stephen Miller and go, Oh, yeah, it's Randy, Bob, uh, Stinky Pete. Yeah, give me a second. Let me, uh, I can name them all. You need their phone numbers? <laughs> uh, Call him Giuliani. He knows them. He, they, they, half of them pose in a picture with him. Of course, these people are Antifa now. You've I'm them. not calling Giuliani. He gets furious. <laughs> these people are Antifa, though. I tell you, if it was Antifa, they must have been going underground pretty, pretty darn hard because you see them, they're posting pictures of Giuliani and different ones of Republican. You go back, no, I mean, they've been digging in deep. They are deeper into, into the Trumpies than the FBI are into the Trumpies, I think. Antifa has really gone uh, underground, underground, underground. Either way, deep, deep, deep undercover. Yeah. As they'd say in. Beverly Hills Cop 2. Folks, we're trying to keep it light. Look, we, look this is dark. It's dark. It's foreboding. Uh, uh, possibly, is it the beginning of something, the end of something, a continuation of uh, horror and terror that's been visited upon our most oppressed people since the beginning of this nation? All of that, all of it, uh, I don't like considering the future when you got people in Congress. Um, still tweeting out shit. Well, I don't know if are the, some of them not on Twitter. Some of them have lost 40,000 uh, bots and fascist followers, but still uh, expressing support for uh, the idea that Biden stole the election from, from Donald Trump. That's, that's sort of depressing. It's still out there. You're, don't get on Facebook. Don't, don't see what your friends uh the former friends on Facebook are talking about don't don't go to the darker corners of the internet if the ones that you can still access that hadn't been kicked off uh because that's still depressing somehow we've got to get through to these people so that they realize it's not our job to make people see reality is it I guess it's not it ain't mine it I just bothers me that they're still out there thinking that some of these people are patriots. If I, the word patriot has lost all meaning at this point. If Buffalo head man in painted face, if if, this, if he's going to be some kind of martyr, I, I, what the hell is is wrong with these people? I, I no, how can you any make any sense of that? 
He's a martyr who half the people uh, who like him also think he was Antifa and also are like, you know, he's like an Instagram. <laughs> he's just like an Instagram guy. Those people that are climbing walls and posing in front of things and up at the, they're all Instagram people. Just like you'd go like, here I am at the, like the people who own small campers and people who do like, you know, cronut pop-ups in, in alleyways. Like these are like, they're the same thing, except their job is they're going to do a little, uh, a destruction of democracy. They're going to make $2,000 on that outright streaming service while they do it. Which by the way, we, like, we don't even know how to monetize our YouTube videos anymore. The generational change. Yeah. I, there's at least one thing we can all agree on. One thing is for certain that you cannot argue this. The Buffalo head man, whatever his reasons to be there, whether it was deep underground Antifa or whether he was the Q master or whatever the hell any of that is. The one thing we do know sure about him is that the president loves him. He's never expressed love to a member of his own family. The only people I've ever he loved is Kim Jong-un and Buffalo Head Man. That's the only two people I heard him just out and out say, I love you, I love you, or I fell in love. He might have loved a few other people, but those are, those are the ones I'm going to remember that he loves the most, I, I reckon. You really have to show a, a great capacity for violence to earn Donald Trump's love. Well, evidently, yeah. Look, I don't want to say that these people are not dangerous. We're making fun of Buffalo Head Man. And, you know, a lot of these people are ignorant and dumbasses. Just the stupidest of the fuckheads. Well, yeah, but I'm, I'll let, you, let that slide this time, yeah. But I have had this shit beat out of me by ignorant people all my life. Oh, yeah. You can make fun of them all you want to. It's fun. It helps. It helps to release. But keep in mind, they can still beat the crap out of you. Listen, I've known you all your life from, from, and and I have seen some of the dumbest people in Murphy, Farrell, Rutherford County area. Uh, Dumbest people whoop your behind when you was a teenager. Mm-hmm. To when you use in your twenties and forties yep. and on and on. I don't know. If you, anybody beat you up last week? Uh, they tried. I mean, they're always trying. With social distancing, I got a few steps on them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to keep it up, I guess. But no, I just plum dumb ignorant people. I've seen them knock the hell out of you. I agree with that. Yeah, it's it is a. Uh... Dark fucking day. And you got to, yeah, you got to remember these people. The the zip tie guy, sometimes I'm a little leery of uh, Twitter detective mobs figuring people out because a lot of times they're wrong. Uh, I'm going to say I'm wrong because I enjoyed the hell out of them figuring out who uh, Tennessee zip tie guy was. He looked so scary, and he was scary. He had those zip ties like this guy's looking for somebody to execute. And he probably was, but that when we find out that that scary ass zip tie guy was a bartender at King Rock's big ass restaurant with skinny arms, it makes me feel a little better. Cypher. Yeah. Makes me feel, a little, I, but I'm not saying that he wouldn't have still, we were so close to seeing some of the worst violence we, uh, against our nation that we've seen. In this country, and I'm just going to enjoy the fact that he looks like a a, a, a dumbass. Uh, but but I, he still would have killed people. He still would have killed people. Absolutely. So you got to have both this in your head at the same time. He brought his mama to the coup, but he's or his aunt Janice or somebody who should not ought to have been there wearing a flag jacket. Uh, still got to keep in mind that mama's boy, skinny armed, uh, kid rock bartender, idiot head from Nashville, Tennessee uh, would have killed people. He would have killed Nancy Pelosi if he'd come across her. They were not in her office looking for ice cream. They were looking for her. They were stealing shit. They were taking souvenirs. I don't, a lot of people on the left hate Nancy Pelosi too. 
I'm kind of mad at people for still kind of making fun of Nancy Pelosi after people literally would have drank her blood at the fucking Capitol. I've, we've been making fun of politicians for 15, 16 years on here now. Too long. But like these, these people now are going to be in harm's way, even the ones we hate. Uh, like a Mike Pence, who we have not said fond things about on here. Um, Trump just basically told people to kill him. Yeah. And the listen here now, I, I, now uh, bear with me here. I believe I remember the president just gave a medal of freedom or whatever, medal of honor. They did it in private for whatever reason, did not. But if they gave it to, I believe, was it Jim Jordan and Nunes got the medal of freedom or whatever it may be. Now I tell you what, who's not going to get one? Who should get one? Is Mister Eugene Goodman? You might know him as being the. Uh, he was one of the police officers there on the Capitol. And there's video of him. Uh, this very disturbing to watch. You have this black gentleman running up the stairs away from a mob. A white face, people mad in hell. And of course, you're watching that and you're worried to death for him. And thank God he's okay. But it turns out some of these people with the ties and the whatever they had to whatever business they were about to attend to, that gentleman led them away. They were mere feet away from the Senate doors. That gentleman, Mr. Eugene Goodman, saved a lot of lives, taking those people, risking his own, so they could barricade the Senate doors, keep those folks out. So, yeah, I don't think uh, any... any any medal is going to go to Mr. Eugene Goodman. I hope someone comes around and decides he deserves one. Hell, the president just a few minutes ago finally put the damn flag at half mass. All over Washington. Everybody got the, the police officer who lost his life. That's what I want to know. The person, because, you know, he did the same damn thing with McCain. I ain't putting the flag down. I ain't going to do it. So you got people having to go in, on his staff in his cabinet, the ones that ain't resigned yet. One of them's had to been in there, or all of them's had to been in there the past two damn days, getting in it. No, sir, Mr. President, we really do need to, we need to lower. You don't understand. You got, now I ain't going to do it. You bet, Mr. President, look at the, po look at the, you, <laughs> All the time you spent, the two days, trying to get him to lower the flag at half mass. Why didn't you just say the 25th damn amendment? you going to put that much damn energy to tell to bring the flag at half mass. Just call up Pence. Pence is ready. He, he just needs a little bit of help. Get on the phone with him. He won't answer the phone if it's Nancy Pelosi. He may talk to you, McCanny. Mark Meadows, I hear you're in shock. They say, oh, oh, Mark Meadows, he's in shock. Can't do his job, he's in shock. Mark, get on the phone. It won't take but a couple more of you before the rest uh, uh, of y'all resign. Do something for your damn country. And the people that live in it. Pitiful. Yeah, I don't see how people didn't see this coming. Uh, these are supposed to be smart people, right? Uh, that, well, look, I, I barely got a high school education. And you can go back and listen to us on here. How far back you go? I'll four, I'd say four years, probably. You go back, I mean... Uh, we made a lot of fun of the damn uh, people dressed up like fucking uh, damn uh, Patrick Henry or whoever. All of there, all of them, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, all them. We we I'd say we're geniuses with, that we couldn't have handled things better from back then. I'm just saying, when it comes to Trump, we were pretty much no. This is this is not going to end good. We all knew it was going this direction. If you had any damn sense in your mind and like i said i ain't got a high school education these people who run the country what they went to stanford they went to yeah they they smart they got law degrees and and they can't see it acting all shocked republicans i too far too far you wait till the last couple of weeks which let's say 
in some ways, he could have done this a year ago if he saw the right number. Who knows? But, it, you know, made the right decision, I guess, to do it right at the tail end. We're going to take it there. Let's go over. Of course, this don't mean this stuff is going to stop happening when uh, Biden gets up there. Probably ain't. We're probably looking at people blowing some stuff up and, and mobs doing this and that for the next 10, 15 years, for all I know. As if they get on get the people out of the damn uh, government that are in favor of it. Our best case scenario may be uh, domestic terrorism for the next 10, 15 years. These are people who would blow up their own country to make Donald Trump president again among other stupid racist reasons they're all traded right now look look and thank we i don't mean to say everything's terrible because look it, it's it's a, a what do you call it the yin and the yammy of things because right for this for this assault on a capital you look at georgia down there Miss Stacey Abrams going to Georgia, setting things right, for thank goodness. So now the Democrats got the Senate, and at the same time we see this happen. Some of this happened probably because of that. That's what they'll say. Extra mad. You know, if we really want this country to heal, uh, to come together in unity, we should probably think about giving the Senate back to the Republicans. Maybe one of you, John Ossoff, he's he's youngest, so maybe he should just wait and run again. Maybe he can be an assistant senator. I'm look. I'm just worried about. I just want to make sure that we're all friends in this country again, and and to do what we can do to heal and forgive and to move on. Well, I guess the only thing you, you can do is you know. Let Trump stay in power just for everybody to heal. Because I tell you what, if Biden gets in there, people are going to raise holy hell. We ain't ever getting together when Biden gets in there. And let me say, I might be part of the problem now because I understand and I respect. That's the president's job. It used to be anyway. To try to bring the country together, you made an effort, whether you believed it or not. And I think Biden is being sincere, saying that we need to unite. But I'm going to say it right here, right now. I ain't going to unite with no murdering damn Nazi. And I ain't going to unite with no Republican politician who refuses to condemn a murdering Nazi. Instead of a President Biden, how about a president, uh, this Biden that I just burned in effigy? I made him out of uh, Fritos. And paper, uh -huh. paper mache and Fritos. My medium is uh, paper mache and Fritos. I like to use, I like to pound the Fritos down. I'm not going to say that I don't eat a few of them. And then kind of mix it into with the paste. And then I find that it kind of keeps this contours of Biden. And then it just goes right up. Something about the grease and, and the paste together makes it extra flammable. So instead of Biden being president, if you really want to unite with me, why don't we make the president be this uh, flaming Frito encrusted paper mache effigy of Biden? Or if you don't want to unite with me, I'll just keep blowing shit up. How many bombs and shit did they find there, too? I can't keep up. They found one by the Lake of Memorial. They found a, a van full full of uh Pipe bombs, whatever. Of course, see, people. They, how many people have gone to jail for having pipe bombs going to kill Nancy Pelosi since the president has been who it is? Yeah, we don't even know what's happened yet. We don't really even know everything that's happened. There haven't been big press conferences talking about the terrorist attack on the Capitol. You would think we should have a few of those, but evidently the president is too busy. Right yeah. now, arguing about bringing the flag to half mass. Who gives it? Like, look, the flag should be at half mass, but also he should not be the president right now. No, nope. he he led a rebellion against the country that he is the president of. 
whether he whether we are ready to accept it or not, that is what happened. But you know, Nancy Pelosi, at a time when we should unite, listen, Nancy Pelosi is going to tear us further apart by by impeaching this president tomorrow. It sounds like. Why would you at this time when we need to come together like never before? She's going to step in there and impeach this president again for the second day of time. Good Lord. Good Lord. This is why what worries me about getting through to the folks in this country who continue to perpetuate this mass delusion, I guess, is that it, they, the more they see Schwarzenegger call this out, the more of these people that break into their feed, the more they realize what a big deal it is. It isn't because somebody has, look, I don't want to get all conspiracy minded here, but obviously something's going on because nobody's, we don't have a lot of information on this. We don't know how it was so easy for them to get in. It was it just incompetence. We we don't know a lot of the facts. It's a really slow roll in 9-11 here. And so people's timelines on Facebook fill up with, oh, well, how come when they was riding this summer, they don't give a shit about that? Or uh, pretty much it was all Antifa. Anybody could see that we don't look like that because you're old. 20-year-olds are just living memes. They just want to be a meme with horns on their heads. You think everybody that likes Trump is like, looks like people at church with you, which hopefully is in, in cars in a parking lot, but probably not. So you don't get it. They're not going to get it. I don't know how to make them get it. Ultimately, it doesn't matter if they get it or not, except that it just makes this country livable with less people trying to blow it up. But, you know, why do we expect people not to blow up this country? I mean, there's a through line here of selfishness and violence, or at least not caring about violence happening to other people. You don't wear masks. Uh, it gets people's, oh, I don't, I don't care if I get sick, but they don't care about making other people sick either. Uh, st- guns, don't step on my rights. Uh, kids are going to get shot in school, Yes. But that's that's fine. They cannot pro. Don't let them protest. I did not like that cop kneeling on that man's neck. That like I, there's like 72 hours, y'all, when I was really not racist. I was real upset. I've come around now because I remembered that I had all these cop flags. So I. <sighs> I mean, are people that feel like this going to sit at home and watch people blowing up uh, Democrats, Democrat cities, which you see on Twitter and Facebook all the time and be like, oh, they shouldn't have done that. Are they going to be like, well, that's what they get. Abortion, abortion babies, all them abortion babies they killed. Pitiful. We're going to the dark place now, though. We're going to the dark place. We keep it light. Uh, more people, uh, died during this and died, uh, in Benghazi. Charlie Daniels is still tweeting about Benghazi and he's dead. Well, I, I won't say this right now. Have I got a Twitter Twitter thing? Have I got one? Of them? I don't know the password, but I'm sure we do somewhere. If I got one of them, whoever get let me after I'm dead, uh, you just keep on, uh, 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 twatting stuff about this January 6th. Hey, at least, uh, Trump's not on Twitter anymore. Maybe, maybe you want to restart your account. Why? Right. It feels, it feels nicer. To, I'll try to get on there if I can. I, I tell you what, uh, reporters don't know what to do. I, I, he ain't been on. How long did he been off of that thing? A day, two not that long. They kicked him off, and and then he come back on, and immediately, immediately, it got kicked off again. And they put out this. Here's why we're kicking him off. When he says this, people are planning violent attacks based on what this man says. The, the man being the president of the United States of America, he's supposed to be in public on the news in Texas. Tomorrow, uh, the, supposedly the plan for this week, 
<laughs> we'll see, is to make a big deal out of all his uh, accomplishments. <laughs> Which I don't know what the wall is one of them. I guess he might as well at this point. I, he should really just be. I mean, I don't want him to, but it would make it easier for them. Like he would be happier. The people who like him would be happier. It'd be easier to get him out of office. If he just got a, went down there and was like, yeah, I guess my biggest accomplishment is the violent attack on the nation. Shit on the constitution. Uh, I showed the reality that Republicans don't give a shit about this country or the norms that have helped it work for white people for the last 200 years. They only care about winning themselves, and we are finally open and honest about it. Uh, and thanks to all the uh, patriots not who stormed the Capitol at my uh, request last week to really drive it home. And I'd say that's the biggest, uh, my biggest accomplishment, Maria Bartiromo. So you might as well just go with that. You don't have to go down there with the wall. And look, I'm saying that he's probably going to say close to that tomorrow. Once he gets out, he has not talked to anybody for three days. He's going to get in front of a camera and they are going to have to 25th Amendment him or impeach him or just or we're just going to see how inept uh, the government is at this point. He going to tell him, rise up. I can't get on twitchers, twitchers. Get, we must take to the streets now, people. They are silencing me. You think you're going to talk about that damn wall? He's going to make it worse every step of the way. So it's very possible, and I hope it's wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope nothing happens. And I hope, I would hope to God we're a little more prepared now that you see what a group of white people can do. It could have been that. It very well could have been that. All their white people coming, that bad. We can handle it. We don't need the National Guard. We'll be fine. That uh, the women there protesting abortion, Kavanaugh, sexual assault man sitting on the. They, they were taking these women of all colors, I should say, races, putting them in handcuffs, throwing them on the damn ground. Had people all out there. I know I ain't saying nothing new, but good Lord, you would think, oh, it's just women. We'd be fine. No, this time it's just a bunch of uh, a white, angry men with bombs in, 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 in the van. We'll be all right. Also, <laughs> like they knew, I mean, this had all been uh, talked about on uh, Parlor, Twitter, Facebook, all of them. I mean, this day had been talking about this and talking about this, talking about this. 4chan, 8 Coon, whatever they all are. Terrible, terrible places. Easy. Like, remember when they would talk about terrorist chatter? And they'd be like, oh, I hear the terrorists. That, oh, yes, online chatter makes us think that this is going to happen or that this is going to happen. They kind of knew 9-11 was going to happen, right? These dumbasses are out there saying they're going to do it, when they're going to do it, who they are. They're showing up without masks. They have a reason to wear masks, and they still will not do it. I hope they. I hope all these motherfuckers that attacked it just get... Uh, COVID while they're in jail and they have to die of COVID in prison hospital. I hope they get prison COVID and prison hospital. I hope that's not too harsh. Y'all. Well, they definitely need to be in jail for the rest of the damn life. You got to make an example. <laughs> this is something we shouldn't. I'm just going to say this is something that we shouldn't tolerate. I just, you know. You think? I don't know. They're the ones sitting there saying it. They just they need to let off a little steam. While they were doing it, this is a revolution. Said it. We are revolutionaries. It's, this is the coming war. And maybe, maybe what if they were saying it before, months before it happened, saying it while they're doing it, putting pictures of them up while they're doing it, saying that the revolutionaries seems to me. That's when you ask our military to come out and stop a revolution happening in this country. 
I don't Seems see like how it's an excuse. Why? Just because you're saying the revolution is 1776 revolution, you're on there, guys. 1776, and this is some of the elected representatives saying stuff like this. This is cops saying stuff like this. It's 1776. But that doesn't mean that that's a good revolution unless it's actually 1776. If it ain't 1776, and you're like, revolution's coming in 1776, y'all. That's still a bad revolution. Hamilton needs great i love it i i can't listen to it anymore i, I don't reckon but i i did like it up to this point it does not mean that saying 1776 makes it a good revolution maybe that is that what was happening homeland security said well it's 1776 so i guess it's a good one like a schoolhouse rock kind of revolution i'm not sure what's happening here honestly but i don't know if i'm gonna figure it out tonight I'm going to better get on back to the house. Mama got supper cooking. Just like in damn night, the lights went out in Georgia. Is that how corrupt these cops are? Not the lights went out in Georgia. Corrupt these big the intelligence. How, how high does it go? Are they all getting home for supper? The one thing that I think is in this country's benefit through all this is these revolutionaries or whatever you want to call them. I call them domestic terrorists myself. They ain't got a whole lot of smarts to them. We had the Michigan thing up there. Put a stop to that. Have they had member in their van or whatever, they had those twisted ties ready to handcuff somebody. You know, they was all ready to do that. They stopped pretty soon. And then these, excuse my language, dumbasses, you know, were advertising themselves doing it. Literally they making money. They were making money while they were doing it. You put the stream in like we used to make money years ago off of YouTube. They was doing it during while they're defacing. While, during an insurrection, they're making a little, little scratch off of that. But good. I'm glad they're all putting their faces out there. Damn good. Get them. I mean, dumb don't mean nothing. These people are still dangerous. The dude blew up a block of Nashville. But the lizard people person. He believed I mean, people were lizards. That, and he still managed to put a truck bomb together. Things are dark. Dark days. Dark days, people. Never. Dumb people are dangerous. I they all get together. The dumber you are, the more dangerous you are, it looks like. Do not underestimate the dumb in this country. We cannot underestimate the dumb. The people on your timeline right now, you got on your Facebook, there's people going, look, they all called me crazy when I started believing in QAnon. My ex-wife, my former boss, my estranged family, my dog who left me, but who's laughing now, but they're still dangerous. They're still dangerous. They're still dangerous. Now like I they don't... shoot themselves in the foot, but they also could have shot other people before that happens. Yeah. Like their foot. Sure. Gone. But a lot of, maybe a lot of other people happen too. they themselves certainly going to get COVID. Give it to the yes. whole damn town, okay. too. Yeah. Oh. Also, I, uh, that, I mean, that is a fucking nightmare. Like, we can't even talk about. We're ha, okay. We can't impeach Trump for leading an armed revolution against his own country. And when we it should be impeaching him for letting uh, millions of people die. This is worse. Like, remember, we're, okay, what's the worst case scenario? We're like, well, he could, I, I don't know, throw his political adversaries in camp. Well, he's been uh, chanting, lock him up for the whole time. I guess if some sort of nas natural disaster happened, I mean, he's too stupid and are surrounded by incompetence to to do anything about it. That also happened. I don't know. He could not leave office. He could uh, just ruin democracy because we shit on all the, the norms of America. Yeah, that also happened too. Like we have been saying this this whole time. It's still shocking to see people do it beating. 
people on the Capitol steps, but it, we were calling it the whole time. So we can't, and we can't impeach him for the worst shit. Some of the worst shit a president's ever done. Like we should be able to impeach him for just the normal shit he was doing before the election. We couldn't even, we barely, well, that's not true. I was going to say we barely voted him out, but we have voted him out by like 7 million people. Yeah. It wasn't a close election. Like they're saying it was stole from him and it wasn't even close. So we did do that. We now, did resoundingly say, fuck you. Hey, except well, everybody, right. uh, you know. I, I wanted to remind you when you was ta- telling all that, which you absolutely right. Well, uh, if you remember correctly, we did impeach him. But the Senate decided uh let him stay. Now, yeah. did they let him stay so he could, uh, you know, screw up the, the, the virus situation so bad that close to half a million people going to be dead? Did they know that? No. Did they know he was going to lead an insurrection against against them personally? They could have avoided all this. Pence would have done a better job with any of this. Anybody would have done a better job than any of this. He ain't changed. He's been the same since the get-go. Ain't one thing, maybe gotten crazier, maybe a little bit crazier. That's about the worst of it. Well, they said he was running around laughing, loving this, loving the attack. It well, why crazy. wouldn't he? They had signs. You could be doing anything holding a Trump flag, and he is going to love it. You could be shooting puppies in the head, live streaming it on the computer, and he is going to dance around and love it. Pitiful. I do think... Uh... Unless you're one of his kids. I mean, Don Jr. has probably tried tried that. He may have not had the Trump flag, but I mean, because he is a Trump, I figure that's well, the Lord knows flag. But he has killed many, many animals in order to impress his father. We know that. Yeah, that is documented. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know what QAnon is, what it stands for, none of this. I don't know. I, I, I brought it down to one thing, I think. Because I don't even like calling these people traitors. Because traitors usually stand for something. They they like when ISIS blows something up, they can get out and tell you right away why they did it. As crazy as it might be, and as wrong as it is, they can say this, 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 and this. All these people can do, and evidently the Republican uh, politicians can all they can say is Trump. What does it stand for? What does it mean? I, 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 the only thing I can break it down to, why did all these senators decide that to go against this uh, democracy, everything that the country is supposed to stand for, and put fuel on the fire of this Howley guy and Ted Cruz, and there's hundreds of them in the damn house. Why would you throw everything, every principle, everything the Constitution stands for? Why would you flush it down the toilet? It, it, it ain't about him. It's about them. It's the most self-serving thing I've ever seen in my life. About you personally. And on top of all that, the only thing that I can think of that brings it all together is white supremacy. That's it. That's, that's, they all have that in common. I don't know if that's the main thing right up on top. Maybe they don't even know it. Hell, if Buffalo Headman thinks lizards are in there, don't, you know, kidnapping babies and feeding them to Hillary Clinton, I, I, I don't know what else he could think other than that. Oh, and oh, yeah, by the way, I'm white. You walk into the cat, <laughs> just... His whole demeanor, I don't know anything about him uh, except his name is QAnon Shaman. And uh, he is some sort of uh, Instagram grifter. But the whole, all of that screams white anyway. Showing up shirtless, wearing uh, buffalo horns, painting your face up. Uh, showing up places, getting in there, looking like that. That's all white. Instagram grifter, white. There's a lot of just a wave of whiteness has carried this son of a bitch uh, 
as far as he's going to go, I, I guess. Although now he's in uh, jail, hopefully. Uh, I, did he get bailed out? I don't know what's happening to these people. Is Trump going to, is he going to pardon them like, Pedro Pascal and Wonder Woman, just like, I don't know all their names, but I pardon you. Just like a faith healer. Just a pardon you. Oh, all my brothers and sisters, good people showed up. Pardoned. Can, is that legal? I mean, that's as legal as pardoning yourself. We're about is he going to do out. it to a mirror? They're going to bring a mirror out? He's going to say, and Donald Trump, I pardon you. But he can't. If you show him a mirror, there's going to be like a 70-minute monologue of, I pardon you, and I also want to tell you that you're underrated as a president. Uh, Your looks are underrated. Smart. You're obviously one of the smartest people. Just like uh, a Stuart, it's going to be a Stuart Smalley thing uh, when he pardons himself. Daddy didn't love you. Not like he should have. I don't know who I'm doing now. Uh, Ugh. Marlon Brando. I'm doing Brando, but it's the same. I uh, Sopranos. Oh yeah, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I told you, I would take Tony Soprano as president over this. Yeah, I don't think there's a character on the Sopranos that would not be a better president than Donald Trump. But I mean, you could name uh, fictional characters for days that would be better presidents. Uh, inanimate objects. Uh, most of the Republicans. Uh, almost anybody. <laughs> better president than Donald Trump. The combination, and I don't want to take any blame away from the, the Republicans who got him there and the, the, the things that have led us to this moment through centuries, but I do want to say that he is the worst possible combination of president with the stupidity, the narcissism, the greed, and the inability to see, uh, to feel anything for anybody other than himself is uh, crazy that we put this man in charge. It's crazy. But we were saying this. We've been saying this for five years now. Yep. And then it happened. And not just us, everybody. Everybody has been seeing this, except I don't, I don't, Rance Priebus didn't see it. I don't know. Did he see it? Hey, and we don't even know what's happening yet. We're hoping that we get through this somehow with, with minimal bloodshed and explosions. But next week, Jackie, I, I, who knows? I may have dug myself in a hole and I'm you know, hoping that the cell phone service holds out. It's hard to depending say. On when, yeah, depending on when you listen to this, you may be like, boy, they were optimistic. I feel like I'm being too bleak. And somebody listen to this on Wednesday and be like, man, did they miss the mark with their hopeful hot takes? Well, I mean, look who's loving all this. Uh, over in Russia, Putin's having laughing his butt off. This is exactly what he wanted to happen. He's he's happier than than Donald is. A lot happier than old Trump because Trump didn't get what he wanted. You were talking about raises and causes. Why? What you stand for? What you want? The only reason he sent all those people and we put a microphone in their face and they'll tell you why they're there and they've done that and it's all crazy as hell or just out and out lies. The only reason that Trump wanted you to go there was just to give him a few more minutes of the damn presidency. And I, oh, this'll, this'll gum things up. This'll stop it for a while. This, God bless him for going back to work. God bless him. If they had to work with some, some people said people were making doo-doo in there and leaving. I'm sure some people cleaned a lot of it up. There's COVID everywhere all over the world. But God bless you for going back to work and doing the people's job. Oh, I yeah. No, the, the people who work there, the custodians, and people had to clean that shit up, but those people came through. I mean, that's that's America in a nutshell right now. Yep. It's <laughs> but that's all that he, he, all that they wanted out of that. He just wanted to be president a little bit longer. And, and the reason he wants to stay president, other than the fact that he can't admit that he lost, he knows how much damn trouble he's in with legal stuff. He knows how much money he owes. He knows New York's going to do this. He knows all about this. And by doing this, he, di- he just got himself mixed up in hundreds, hundreds of more courtrooms and cases he, he just to make it worse for himself every damn step of the way unfortunately when he makes it worse for himself he makes it worse for the whole damn country look it ain't even just the country it's the world the world's looking at this you see well, uh, Putin. Uh, 
Putin, uh, uh, damn fascist and, and, uh, freedom hating leaders who just want to seize control of their own country. You just want to, you know, ethnic cleanse some corner of their little world. They're looking at this as like, Oh yeah, we can just do this. We can just, we can grab onto this. The, the, I'm sure people at the United Nations and NATO are like, what the fuck do we do if, if America goes down? I mean, would we see people coming over here? Uh, if, if things got that bad, I mean, how bad do things have to get before the United Nations and NATO and our allies start going, okay, we got to send somebody over there and make sure them nukes are safe. Russia just, what I mean, hacked all the computers. Like, well, it's a movie I saw, Die, Die Hard Force style. Got in, in all the computers in the damn White House and, and what he called the grid, had a power work. Russia's got all that. They broke it. They know they could get in and do that on top of all this we, going on. We forgot about that story. We forgot that Russia hacked into everything. How about the fact that lizard person man from Antioch, Tennessee, that means something if you're from Tennessee. Fucking built a truck mom that blew out the cell phone service and the internet for, I mean, how many different parts of the country were affected by that? Down Alabama, up, wasn't it up like Illinois, Indiana, some of that, yeah. North Carolina. I mean, states were down. CVS couldn't give people their fucking prescriptions. That was one truck bomb in one city. And ain't nobody, it, we don't even know if Trump is president right now. Folks, we're just saying things you've been saying to yourself for the past few days, but it feels good to get it off our chest. Well, who called in the National Guard? It wasn't Trump. It was Pence. They tried to call fucking legal. They tried to call it in. From what they're saying in there, they went to him, we need to call in the National Guard. He's waving them off. No, nah, no, nah, this is just getting good. I don't know if he said that <laughs> precisely, but that's more like, you know, he's sitting there watching on TV. Hush. I'm trying to watch my show. My favorite program. It's the one where people storm the Capitol for me. I love his show. Fucking. And then people are like, I don't know. Should we take him off Twitter? I don't Listen, I used to believe that you had to shine light on the ignorant and the racist and the, the mean. Shine that light on it. I remember back, remember when like Ron Paul people liked us on the internet? And I think it probably just went to my head. But there was a moment where it seemed like you freedom of speech was one of the more important things. Maybe just as a white guy, this is what I was allowed, allowed myself to think. I, you just seem like, well, just put a spotlight on it and you'll, everybody will see how stupid it is. But the thing I, I didn't realize was people like that. So you put that spotlight on the stupid stuff and people are like, oh shit. I didn't even know about that. That's a lot stupider than this other thing I thought. And it's racist too. Let me go over here. Sign up. Where do I sign up for this? On Parlor? It's not on the, I can't get it on the app store. I don't see it on here. How do I? So, yeah, I don't fucking know. I also don't want Republicans kicking us off Twitter, but that's not an excuse not to do any of this stuff. They're going to do it to us anyway. Everything that we do to try to rein them in, because when I say rein them in, I'm talking about things like armed revolution and attacks on the Capitol and members of their own party. I'm talking about violent attacks. I'm not talking about fucking Reaganomics or whatever. Listen, I've let you use the F word enough. Now I, I tried to let it go. Cause I know we're upset, but not, that's enough right there. I I, I, I don't want to hit it no more. Can I, can I just go one more fuck Trump? Uh, you did it. That's it. Do you want to say it? I ain't going to say it. I, Lord knows I'm getting closer and closer, but I'm going to try to stay to my principles. I'm not going to, I'm not going to let, let them bring me down to their level. I ain't going to use language like that. No, sir. Anyway, I don't even know what I was talking about. I just want to say that we don't know what has even happened yet. It's been what, four or five days at this point. We're recording this on Sunday, the 10th. We really don't know what's happened. We're piecing it together. We're finding out it's worse and worse as it goes along. It doesn't make any sense. And nobody seems to be in charge of this. Just like there doesn't seem to be a president who has been 
minding the country since he lost the election or even before, let's be honest. They can't get the damn <laughs> I mean, vaccine out nowhere. Big surprise there. It, the, the country is literally falling apart economically. Uh, yeah. It's, it's everything. Again, if you'd have told me, if you'd have told me two years ago on the, on the front page of every newspaper, first was going to be, you know, close to 400,000 Americans dead. And then right beside it is a picture of Buffalo head, man. Yeah. Would I be shocked? Sure, sure. Am I surprised? Not one damn bit. Yeah, look, here's a here's a literal headline from I think it's Washington Post this week. Police arrest QAnon supporter in horn costume, man accused of stealing Pelosi's lectern. I don't know. Yeah, that that would not. I, I, I a couple of years ago, I think we'd still be like, okay, that that all adds up. Uh, how you feeling, Jackie? Ah, uh, what's the hope? Tired. I want to. No, I with feel this like we hope, come look, up with some hope. Look, Oshoff and the Reverend. There's, there's your little bit of hope right there. Georgia, the most, let's be, you look at Georgia's history and racism and on and on. Yeah, get, you know, I, I, I'll I, get choked up talking about it, but I remember a time. When those young men went down there to, to sign up black people to vote in the 60s and civil rights and had no idea what they were going down there to do and they wound up dead. And to come from that to see the first Jewish man and the black man first become senator out of that state, that's hope. And if, if, if that ain't hope, I don't know what is. Look at Mississippi, man. They changed that flag this week. Yeah. There's no uh, Confederacy on that flag. I mean, that's hope, too. I guess the, the hope is that uh, what they're trying to keep us from. Well, don't let they them do it. Yeah, we can't, we can't let them keep us from uh, trying to make things better. Look, people didn't think in the 60s that they were <laughs> – I think if you went back – people listen to this right now, folks. Y- y'all, uh, people listen to this have – parents or grandparents who were alive probably just your mamas and daddies could not sit down and fucking wherever demons is downtown nashville watch uh, black and white together could not sit down to a table and eat together and now uh they can i mean i don't know what the policy is at demons is probably uh if they can it's illegal 50 in the 50s and 60s if you told people in in the 50s that the schools would be integrated in the south they wouldn't have believed you but they went ahead and they did it and people got mad and fucking lester maddox was chasing people out of his restaurant with the axe handle running for governor uh, people listen to this. This is not that long ago. Oh. I mean, uh, you know, I'm old. I'm pushing 30. I'm closing in on it. And you older than that? Hell. It's time to just do some shit. And people are going to get mad and they're going to kick and it's going to be violent. And we're going to have to question things. We're going to have to think about things like freedom of speech. We're going to have to think about the future. We're going to have to think a few steps ahead so that they don't get a hold of it and, and choke us off of Twitter. We got to, we got to worry about uh, violence and, and, but more importantly, we got to worry about making this a better world for, for everybody out there. And we can't let them choke the hope out. If, if somebody's going to choke the hope out of me, he ain't going to be wearing no buffalo head. He ain't going to be, he ain't going to know, <laughs> sit in a room and not know who Frederick Douglass is on Frederick Douglass Day. He, th- these are not the people who are going to choke the hope out of me. No. I, I, these dumbasses, excuse my language, last people I'm going to let do that. And if that means that 
Josh Holly don't get to put a book out, so be it. So be it. If if, if that means that Holly and Cruz, those big corporate donors that used to to give them lots of money for their campaigns, uh, realize how what bad business that is. Book company did so. Yeah, so be it. If that means that they're not going to run for office anymore because they know damn well they can't win nothing, so be it. They created this uh, capitalist nation where these corporations are running the show, and if they kick you off Twitter or their publishing schedule or their uh, you know donation list, like you created all that, and good. If it means that Lindsey Graham can't get off an airport without people screaming traitor or whatever else at him, so be it. He created that, too. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, we cannot let bartenders from Kid Rock restaurants uh, make his country worse. We got to make it better. We can do it. We, we're not gonna. We're not gonna bring the horn guy with us. No. They, they have to stay behind in their terrible world, whatever world that is. Just a world of COVID and hepatitis, working for Kid Rock. Like we're moving to a better world, hopefully soon. Well, let's let's get this COVID taken care of, and then and then we can start talking about that. That'll be better right there. Just that. Just a pandemic. As if that ain't bad enough, we got to worry about domestic terrorism. But let's get through the pandemic and sit back. Let's hold this administration coming in. Let's hold their feet to the fire, too. Biden, come on, do it. I ain't going to unite with you-know-who, but I'm going to support you every which way. Let's see what you can get done for the American people. Getting, you know, he put the virus under control would be that I'd appreciate that. People were already fighting before we realized there was an attack on democracy. Uh, a physical, literal attack, and because he had appointed uh, Merrick Garland his attorney general, but Merrick Garland prosecuted Timothy McVeigh in the nineties. Who knew? Certainly, yeah, get COVID going, and then turn Merrick Garland loose on all these sons of bitches. That'd be a good start for me. Did you get your vaccine yet? I got I got the first one. I don't know. I got to get the, I'm old. So I got the first one. I got to go back and get another one. Just drove up in the car. How'd you do that? What do you mean? Well, somebody had to help me with the computer stuff. That I don't know. You sign up for it, get it, get it, and go, and they, they give me a shot. So I got the one. I got to get some more. How many more? It ain't like rabies where you get a bunch in the stomach. It's just in your arm, I think, I think two times. What? They told me I had to get them in my stomach. I bought some from Rim Job. He told me that he could get them for me uh, cheap and fast. Who? Oh. And he he was Rim Job said he could give me. He works at Walgreens, uh, hosing down. When the Frito Lay man comes, Walgreens pretty strict on COVID. So when the Frito Lay man comes, uh, Rim Job stands in the back with a hose and washes down all the chips. What? And he knows how to get, because he works at Walgreens, he knows how to get the hookup. He no. says it's eight shots in my stomach, and then I have to take a sugar cube or something, got medicine in it. And he said he'd give me that for $40. Well, for $40, yeah, I'd make sure I get it all done, I guess. I don't know. Hey, Good luck to you. He, showed, he showed it to me. He said it's just like, it looked like a needle, like you have a needle and thread in it. But he said it's. Because what country this come from? Europe. It's more like that. It's like a European, the way they do it there. And then he showed me the sugar cube too. He just had one loose in his pocket, but he said he he'd wrap it for me if I was worried about uh, COVID or whatever. Why? So I ain't too worried about it. I guess I'll be doing pretty good. Uh, he said so. I have to get eight shots in my stomach, poke with that needle uh, ten times between now and Easter. I don't know why it's Easter, but he says uh, it's better to bring religion into it, he thought. And I said, well, it can't hurt. 
So if you could loan me $40, I'll get rim job. Give me. No, his, uh, I ain't got $40 for you. And first off, don't come over here trying to look for it. Stay home. You stay with social distance, social distance. Well, a minute ago, you was preaching about COVID, get Joe Biden on it. And here I am. You could ta- actionable. If it's got Joe Biden, it, if Joe Biden, you talk about what's his name? Tim job. Yeah, Rim Job. What? Tim Job's his brother. Well, either way, you know I, Rim and Tim Job. I don't. I know Joe Biden, and he said to get the shot where I went, and that's who I'm going to listen to. Well, he didn't say it. He ain't in there yet. Hopefully, hopefully. If they send, if they send that two thousand dollars, he gets in there. I'll buy you a damn vaccine. Just I to don't, be extra I, safe. It was free for me. You got to be a certain age. Old people, let's be honest. I, I, some people, I don't want to get old. I don't get old. You know, but they took away the movies and the restaurants. I used to get a discount. I can't go to any of those anymore. So also, evidently, free free vaccine. So it ain't it ain't all as cracked up but, to be, but, you know, ain't that bad either. Jackie Bro is still on here. Thanks for thanks for still listening if you are. Folks, people, it's Dunlap still on here as well. It's important for us to uh, go about our daily business, even though it's impossible to concentrate or think about anything other than uh, idiot traders storming the Capitol. They can't stop but, us from, from doing our sponsors by, by they God. cannot stop us. Listen, there were times we did not do sponsors for a long time uh over the summer. And we and today, Jackie and I said, should we maybe we shouldn't do our sponsor segment? I know you know we didn't do it this summer, but that was out of respect. Uh, we are not going to let QAnon people steal the sponsors they're not going to get the respect that we gave uh protest of, of, of george floyd's no uh, there's a death. difference but those yeah a legitimate uh we want our to, to be protesting you. over yes yes making uh dragging this uh podcast out for another half an hour with uh inscrutable in jokes and uh you know i'm the, the going just Murfreesboro in general, like if you know, you know, yeah. And they're if not going to take that from us. No, no, sure, no, they ain't taking it. No, 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 they ain't taking nothing. They we'll, can take. We, they can take. They can take our freedom, but they can't take our sponsors. Right. Well, they can take your life too. Uh, then I they don't can know. take that. They, they, yeah, they blow you, blow you up. Shoot they definitely you, could take that. You. Yeah. Uh, things are not great, uh, but we're not going back down into that uh, down that bleak path. We're here to talk about to keep things normal and to to prove to look. Remember when George W. Bush said, "Hey, get out there in them malls and shop." He said we cannot let them. This is the same thing, except yep. it's we're saying listen to the sponsors. We we we, we you don't don't have to listen. You can turn it off. In the great tradition of George W. Bush, we're going to mm-hmm. sit there and tell you, don't start, don't stop giving money to our pageant pageant page. It's true. Uh, keep, you, keep it up. It, you, if you want to go over there and uh, Patreon, uh, Red State Update Patreon, if you give us five, at least five. Oh. It does seem kind of weird talking about five dollars or more. You get yeah. twenty extra minutes of this, which this minutes. one's already long anyway, so you may not need it. But we're going to do it because as long as yeah, people can keep, do it. keep giving us five dollars, it's our responsibility. Yeah, to keep doing that extra twenty minutes, and it's our I, show, our responsibility. I it's texted y'all. I texted y'all that the QAnon people were on your way. They were coming. They were heading to your house. Why did y'all not? Wait, well, we were listening to 20 extra minutes with Jackie and Dunlap. 
That's what I'm afraid is going to happen. Well, let's hope not. Let's hope not. Uh, it's bleak. You no, know, no, we're not doing the bleak. Hold on. Here we go, folks. People, welcome to the sponsors section of the Red State Update podcast. Local sponsors, Murphy Barrel, Tennessee. Yeah, so I thought you'd it. go. What? You want me? I'm going to do I it. I thought that was, I was trying to like suddenly give you a cue. All right. Well, I got it. I'm going. But I mean, and I also don't want to let them steal our well oiled interplay. What is it? Our well oiled. Just go ahead. All right. Uh, Murphy Sparrow got local sponsors here. They, they're kind enough to give us $25. And by God, we're kind enough to do a sponsor right here on this show. All the money that you lovely people listeners to and send to us and all the money that we get from these local sponsors, that helps us keep a computer up and running so we can look at the president's tweets. Well, I don't, do we need the computer still? I mean, I guess to do this, we did it. All right. Uh, the wires and the electricity and how a computer works, that helps us keep us doing uh, going strong on here. And I tell you what, I got a good sponsor. It's the same sponsor I had last week. And I tell you, the reactions have been something else. I never had so many people send me what you call the emails on the computer or leave a comment here and there. And the, thank you for that advice. And and uh, they, they wanted to thank me. Of course, they should be thanking Todd. But, uh, you know, he put it all together. So, I, you know, you should give him the credit that he deserves. But uh, I will pass it on to Todd, all the lovely comments and messages you sent to me, appreciating uh the advice that I, I so generously give with Todd's permission. Here we go. Oh. There's a siren out there. Now, usually I would say that that was Longhorn Dance Party. There's a fight going on down there. But these days, probably COVID. Anyway. Uh, I mean, in your defense, it, it could be COVID. They caught at Long Orange Dancing absolutely, Party. Absolutely, absolutely. They you you could you can have COVID and go get in a fight somewhere. I mean, you, yeah. I mean, depends on how hard it's hitting you. I could go on Twitter and pull up a hundred examples of that right now. Oh yeah, or at least people like spreading it. And getting in a fight, maybe not not asymptomatic people, but probably some people will have it going out there. Wasn't that, wasn't that one of the things at the rally before it turned uh, extra violent? Was that they were hugging each other? Wasn't that part of it at the very I, beginning? We're like Jesus when we thought, okay, we can we can make more fun of these people than probably we should be doing. Uh, just before, because before it should also be weighing the dangers and the violence and the uh, uh, racism of all this. But yeah, they they were just uh, hugging each other. I get, yeah, hug on, hug each other. COVID, COVID. <laughs> get it going. We'll show I mean, us. They that you can wear a mask over at Longhorn Dance Parlor, but if you do, let me tell you right now, you're definitely gonna get in a fight, whether you mean to or not. So I would just wouldn't go during this time. I'd stay home with everything going on. If you really need to get yeah. out and you have to go there, are you either going to get COVID? But if you have one on, you get someone going to sock you. So, you know, each his own. Or really, they shouldn't be. It's a terrible place. Yeah, it, you really shouldn't go. Stay home. Trust us. Trust us. Uh, they're not our sponsor, obviously, because we wouldn't say that. If they give us $25, I don't think we'd be saying that about them. But I'd still say more than likely stay home, regardless what the scenario is just at the, at this time, I think it's safest for us all to, to stay home. Let me get back to my sponsor here. It's fancy face presents. Ash Todd. And I tell you what, like I said, appreciate you writing in. I, you know, I ain't saying I'm a, a special a doctor that you lay on the couch and I tell you what you dream. And I don't know anything about that. I just got good old, uh, at one time, I would have say Southern common sense these days. I said, let's just say old common sense. No, I'm from the South. By God, I ain't going to let them have that. I am from the South. Uh, you, you, nowadays, you think South, you think these, uh, uh, partly some of these uh, dumb Trump rallies and all that. No, I'm from the South. I am. This is good Southern uh, uh, advice. It ain't all that. 
Yeah, don't let them. That's another thing we ain't going to let them take. Uh-uh, you ain't taking a south from me. Uh-uh. Of course, they say, you ain't taking a south from me, and they got the damn Confederate flag floating around in Congress, but south you know, belongs to me. With a Confederate flag. I've seen that picture a hundred damn times. Yeah. I want to say people are people are online saying this is a shock and a surprise, and I can't believe that this has happened. I do want to remind people that Hank Jr. had a single out called "If the South Would Have Won, We'd Had It Made." Uh, that was a a national release, popular from, song. Yeah, from I both Cephas, "If the South Would Have Won, We'd Had It Made." Where he says, I'd probably be the president of the Southern states, which he's, uh, I mean, his time is coming gone, but I mean, would you rather have Hank Williams Jr. as president than Donald Trump? I got to say, I mean, it's close, but yeah, I'd rather have Bo Cephas as president. Better. Yeah. Anything. He can run a trot line. Anything better. It probably would have been close to Bush, you know, so a lot of countries with brown people would have still got bombed which is terrible, terrible, but I'm going to compare it to that probably because he had songs about that too, didn't it? Camels and bombing. I can't remember all of them in Iraq. Uh, I think we're we're mixing up a little Charlie Daniels and a little uh, Hank Jr. Also. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say Bo Cephas presidency worse than George W. Bush. Honestly, I'm just going to just to be, you know, but he would have filmed a lot of funny uh, music videos in the White House. Well, we got plenty of funny videos in the Capitol. Uh, I don't need to see any funny ones in the White House. I, 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 enough. I don't know. Yeah. Look, I mean, I know people have said that this moment in time is a lot like a 9-11, except the country music stars are in favor of it. So I don't know what Daryl Worley's working on right now, but I don't want to hear it. No, nope, me neither. I don't want to say what he's saying on the Twitters, Twitters, and I don't want to hear none of that. What are you going to think about it? I'm fine. Now, wouldn't it be great if we were on here? Uh, Jackie, I'm sorry I'm interrupting your sponsor, but I just, wouldn't it be great if, to, right, like right now, on uh, damn Spotify or Facebook Live or YouTube or something, Toby Keith's on there just going, I got a new single. It's called Get the Fuck Out of Nancy Pelosi's hey. Office. Hey. Wouldn't that be a better world to live in if Hank Jr. got on? Well, yeah, here we go. I was, this is called "Put That Lectern Down, You Motherfucker." Hey, I don't need the language, but the, the song. Well, he- Daddy told me never steal a lectern because you got to put his daddy in. Listen, this—that's not the world we live in. Nope. No. Where were you when? The Hornhead guy got arrested. That would be a good song. That would be a good song to hear. I, how about somebody writes a song called I'm Glad I Didn't Tip That Fucking hey. Trader Bartender When I Took the <laughs> Bridesmaids to Kid Rock's Bar? Because it turned out he was a fucking traitor. Hey. And Daddy told me never tip a traitor. I mean, tip it. I, you know, I don't know. Tip it. Tip everybody. But if you know for sure that they're a QAnon trader, just know that that, 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 that five ten dollars may be going in the gas tank to get them to DC. Just keep that in mind. Donate that money to everybody else. Even Dave Ramsey says tip your waiters. So everybody else, tip. But if you know for sure, and I don't want like I'm. <laughs> I'm sure there's good people who work at Kid Rock's restaurant. So tip them unless you know for sure that just don't go to Kid Rock's restaurant. And then they can get a job uh, working for nice people. You don't need to go no no restaurant right now anyhow. Stay home. You good Lord. In the middle of a don't pandemic. don't need to go. No, you do not. But especially if Kid Rock owns it. If I had, if they forced me, you're going to have to eat at one restaurant during covid it, it, if I had to pick one, it wouldn't be that. <laughs> That's true. I wonder they do they have food there? I don't know. Or is it just Jägermeister in a boot? What? What is the one meal worth risking your life over to go sit down and eat? I, 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 I'll get back to my sponsor. Don't worry, Todd, if you listen, I'm, I'm going to get right there. But just thinking about it now, <laughs> Todd, like you. 
Well, it it's nothing that Kid Rock would have no come up with. Listen, it's nothing that I'm not saying Kid Rock come up with the menu at his bar, but he didn't even like nothing you would no meal you would risk your life for has even been run by Kid Rock in a conference room. No. Like what if we call these like uh what if we shape the deviled eggs to look like breasts? I don't know if that was somebody pitching that to Kid Rock or if that was supposed to be Kid Rock pitching it to a chef. Either I way. I on the menu. I had a dream last night. Yeah, I don't want to. Eh. And they was all, everywhere I looked was deviled eggs that looked like breasts. What? Can we get eggs, breast-shaped eggs? How do we source those? Can I do my sponsor now? We throw with Kid Rock. Let's let's be through with Kid Rock in a lot of ways. Let's all just be through with Kid Rock. Except boobies out jump the boobies. What? Hey. Wait, I'm working on it. But yeah, uh, go ahead. All right. Good lord. Uh Fetch Face presents Ask Todd. You said then your letters of advice. I read it and I stew on it. I sit here and think about it. And then I'm going to give you my response or Todd's response. I'm helping by saying it, but I'm supposed to say it's all Todd's. It's, this is his advice, even though it, it's a strange situation. Just listen to it again. I appreciate all the letters, the emails, the things such and such that you that, that it helped you in any way. But you really need to be sending those to Todd uh, over at Fancy Feast. But uh, I'll tell him about them. I'll but, pass but it you're on. answering the letters. Well, it's his thing. He set it up for me to do it. It's he, Technically, if I wouldn't be answering help of nobody if it weren't for Todd. So Todd, it's Todd's got his name on it. Well, it's his, ain't it? And you're still sitting here giving him all the credit. Your best friend, Todd. He ain't my best I friend. I didn't know. There's a difference between best you, and good. Good friend. He's a good friend, I'd say. I don't know about best right now. We just got to know each other. Maybe. Who knows? A few months from now, could be my best friend. I don't know. Wow. I didn't even know you had it in you uh, to... Uh, to create a friendship like this anymore. Look, Todd give $25. Is it? Well, actually he did not. I, I did it this week. Uh, we're working something out where one of us are going to, anyhow, my, my, either way, $25 is going from my pocket for it. Well, Todd. how much more money are you going to give Todd? Are you up to three, four grand now at this point? I don't you're doing keep- work and you're paying him. To do it. I'm helping people. That's what he says. I'm help. Well, first off, I am helping Todd. Yes. And I'm helping people right in. I don't sit there and go, how much did you give for charity here and there to do? No. It's not say- charity. It's Todd. Well, these people appreciate my advice. I'm going to keep giving it to them or Todd's going to keep giving it to them. Either way. Uh, but we'll get that money situation worked out next time. Let me get to it here. So I read your letters. And uh, I, like I said, I stew over them. I think about it. And I try to come up with the best advice that I can. Now, uh, this first person that sent me something, bless his heart, Zimmy. Zimmy, I read this. And it is a unique situation that you're in. But I think I, think I got some advice you're going to like. Pet, rub and rub and rub and pet and pet and pet and pet. Rub and rub and rub. Take it from me, Zimmy. People are too wrapped up in their own problems to notice your pointy elbows. All right. Wait. Huh? What the fuck just happened? Wait, watch your mouth. What do you mean what happened? What, the last few times you've done this is a whole song that they made for the Cat Cuddling Club, and you just sang it, but you didn't I, play it. You did The music, people love the music. It comes on. It's got like, like a little horn section. Well, thanks for reminding me. Uh, Todd, uh, I, 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 I worked on that. It's my first time singing it, so I, I may have got the words mixed up a little bit. It won't happen again. I'll, oh, I'll get it Lord. right this time. 
I hope Todd ain't mad at you. He ain't mad. I'm just letting him know. I want to do the best job I can for somebody, and I messed up, and I'm gonna take. I ain't gonna blame it on somebody else. He might be mad. I don't oh, know. He ain't mad. He ain't well. Maybe you should send him a greeting card. He's not gonna be mad now that I t- told him the reason. It's my first time doing it. A little nervous. I got the. I got the song out wrong. Now, yes, yeah. Now we used to play a song. Yes, Cat Cuddling Club. Uh, yeah. yeah. I would play that because it was fa- for fancy face. It's a long story. I won't get into it, but I, yeah. I'll let you know the singer, Miss Gwen Daisy Lay, for whatever reasons, when I paid them to do this song, there was some sort of clause. I didn't sign. Now she, she said that we can only play it one time. And this is a, you know, a law issue was a, a lawsuit of some kind or say, what do you call Say's to see us. She says you can't use uh, um, her, her, you know, her voice on there without either letting everybody know or giving her a little bit of money. And it costs enough just to be, you know, the sponsor itself. And what I owe, I, I, which I don't understand why she's mad, because evidently I still owe her some money for doing it to begin with. She didn't get paid full amount or whatever. Uh, also, Decky Alamo, who plays the music on it, because I thought, well, we'll take her off there, and I'll sing it. Lord knows, I, I used to sing in choir. I've sang a few songs. People who listen here know I can sing. Uh, you know, good enough, I'd say. But he said, uh, no, sir, you can't use his music, same, same region. So evidently, I owe some money to uh, Miss Gwen Day's lap. I apologize. I didn't realize that I was still in debt to you, but we'll figure that out. And same goes for Decky Alamo. Wonderful song. But uh, I'm just doing it on my own here. Yeah, you better take care of that so Todd doesn't get mad at you. Well, he ain't, ain't mad. Let me do He will get mad if you don't let me do my damn sponsors, and he ain't going to be mad at me. He's going to be mad at you. The next letter people wrote in to me is Miss Geraldine. Hey, Geraldine, how you doing? Now, I listen close. Well, I didn't listen. I read it, but. I hear the words out loud in my head when I read it, so I do kind of hear it. You know, you put a, a voice or something. You think Geraldine, you know, maybe a high voice or something like that, or Zimmy be low. He, but it could be either way. You don't know for sure. But just to help me get through it, I, you know, you just kind of get a mental image. Uh, not even an image, just a mental sound uh, when I read your words. And I tell you what, they, they touch my heart, but I, I got to be honest here, Geraldine. Let, let, me, let me fill you in, and I'm just coming straight from Todd. So let me tell you. Pet and pet and pet and pet. Rub and rub and rub. That's it. Sounds like no one can get their floor mats clean enough to suit you, Geraldine. So you and April need to work it out. So take that to heart, uh, Geraldine. Uh, I meant what I say, and just don't get, you know, don't jump, jump to conclusion or anything. Listen to what I had to say. Just, just take, take 10 minutes, count to 10 to just hear the words that I said. And maybe it'll help you out there. I, 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 I want what's best for both of you. And, uh, all my intentions were good by sharing that with you. And, and I mean, it It does come from my heart. So just take a minute and just, just think about it. Hope everything. How do you out think? Clean you too, huh? How do you think Todd thinks that one went? I don't. If he, you know, the only person that can really say is Gerald Dane. Really, if it did her some good, then I'm sure Todd would be happy. But I hope it did you some good, Gerald Dane, if you're still listening and not mad turning turning it off. I got one more of these to do with uh, fancy face, questions from Todd, advice from Todd. And uh, this... This person said they just want to be known by just K. That's all they want. Just, just, just the letter K. And I'm going to respect the wishes. Oh, that's fine. Just K. I, that'll be fine. I, I, I definitely read what you had to say. And I tell you what. Here's how I feel about that. Pay it and pay it and pay it and pay it. Rub and rub and rub. Killian. I'd love to see you say any of this to Todd's face. Is that that it? That's it. 
That's not advice so much as a feud. Also, you you said his name. You said he didn't want his Who? name said, but you said Killian. Huh? You said Killian in the uh, thing. If I, did, if I did, I'm sorry about that. Fancy Face presents as Todd. Thank you, Todd. Appreciate that. I hope y'all appreciate that good advice that Todd gave you. And I hope your lives get better. Stay safe, social distance, and all that. And if it helped you, it made your day a little bit brighter, give you something to think about, so be it. Uh, let Todd know. Be sure to let Todd know. Todd, if, if people mistake. don't like the advice and they tell Todd they don't like it, does he turn on you like Trump did on Pence? Nobody turn on man nothing. I, you know, if last week is it, it seemed to go good, uh, you know, but uh, if he if he if he has a few like suggestions, it ain't because he's mad. It's just because he wants you know. Todd is somebody that that appreciates. Uh-huh. Hard work, and and he wants things to be a certain way. Some people say, "Oh, that's bossy," and he's mean, and he control all this, control freak. He, but no, he just wants it the way it's done right. That's how he got in the position he is in at Fancy Feast. If he's still there, <laughs> I, I I I can't remember. What but, position uh, is that? Watching Zoom meetings of the Cat Cuddling Club. Well, that was part of his duties. Yes, indeed, it was. So, I, you know, if I be it for me, Todd's doing a lot. It ain't just V.S. answering people's advice. He ain't just no, doing this. because you're doing that. Well, I don't care where the credit goes, as long as his people are doing better. And I know that's how Todd feels, too. But, yeah, Todd don't get angry. He just gets, I like to call it, particular. Jackie, I got a sponsor this week that I think you're really going to like. Do you remember, you probably heard about this in the news. Do you remember the Long Last and Revival Holiness Church? They had whole revival when they, the big sinkhole opened up in uh, their uh, in their church, and uh, people were going there uh, to jump into the sinkhole. You know, you can't tell people how to worship in this country. No. They had COVID revival there, and that was so popular that when the Cinco uh, opened up, people just, uh, they just kind of rode that popularity wave of the long last revival holding this church. And so many people went there to uh, jump in that sinkhole. It was really, uh, it was, it was a revival and it has been long lasting and it happened in that holiness church, which they now spell uh, H O L E Y. And, I don't know how many people have been saved by jumping headfirst into that sinkhole. Thousands, hundreds, hundreds, 30, 30 or 40. I'm not, I I mean, I said, I don't know. And then I just started throwing out numbers. And, you know, some people went there. They weren't sure if they wanted to jump in the sinkhole. And then uh, one of brother Wink Birchie's kids would drop something on their head from the rafters or somebody would push them in. Because that's part of freedom in America. You can't tell somebody that they can't jump in a sinkhole, and you can't tell somebody that they can't push you in a sinkhole. It's all goes, it's all part and parcel. This is freedom. This is America. Nobody can tell nobody how to worship if they're white and they have guns. Now, Jackie, uh, the sinkhole has only grown. And uh, the people who, the number of people who have jumped into it, uh, numbering well into the millions, possibly 60 people, uh, it's really a great moment for Jesus and yeah. America. I, I, I guess, yeah. Uh, and of course, there's other things there that could, there's the, uh, the poisonous gas that you could keep out with a mask. A uh, simple mask like you might wear to keep out coronavirus if you are a fucking uh, freedom hating idiot. Hey, watch it, but yeah, but watch this the is prepared, prepared, prepared text here for this spot. Uh, and uh, there were also the uh, the night weasels made of shadow and fang, long like a slinky tall. As an omen dog, claws clattering around the walls and ceiling as they circle, their faces claiming the light. Save for the three glowing eyes that never stop scanning for your neck. The night weasels, well, the hole has grown so long, so large now that it's constantly belching the poisonous gas. The night weasels 
circle it and patrol the area to get up into the some of the surrounding rolling green hills of Middle Tennessee. It really is beautiful here, folks. I don't know right. if we've ever we can't overstate how beautiful it is. It is. It is. Go Tennessee, a beautiful country. Yeah, it it absolutely is. Yeah. But so many people have uh, jumped into this sinkhole uh, that over at. Do you remember that store here in town, Jackie, that used to had all the bells and whistles? Oh, yeah. That store is not is no longer there. Bells and, bells and whistles store. Uh, it's gone. It's between buying smoke and Dippy's Pizza Hand. Uh, but a sinkhole opened up there, and another holiness church opened up there uh, around the hole. Um, and we have found out that uh, people have started popping out in that hole that jumped into the long lasting revival holiness uh, church hole. Yeah. Is it we don't two? know. Uh, two sinkholes. He's won the long-lasting revival Holiness Church sinkhole. Church one. That's a church sinkhole. That's a church sinkhole, but they also opened in the spot when bells and whistles went out of business. There was an empty storefront, and they've started uh, another church around that sinkhole. Not as popular. Yeah. Mostly made up of the people that come out of the, uh, the other sinkhole. And they don't want to jump back in the hole because of what they went through there. And also they think they're in heaven because at Dippy's pizza hand, the teenagers, the high teenagers that work there, they make them dress up like nativity scene. Oh yeah. They dress up. Yeah. In the costumes. Yeah. Yeah. Now back during Christmas at the long lasting revival, uh, holiness church, People were also dressing up like nativity scenes and getting plastic donkeys and throwing them in a hole and jumping in a hole dressed like uh, shepherds. Also, so that there was a run on robes and we ran out of robes here in Murfreesboro and Rutherford County. But robes are back in stock and taking advantage of that is Dippy, who has changed the name of Dippy's Pizza Hand to Dippy's Pizza Nativity. Nativity a year round at this pizza restaurant that you are going to, now that robes are back in stock, it's Nativity year round at Dippy's Pizza Hand, now known as Dippy's Pizza Nativity. And so the kids who work there, uh, and and y'all know them and you love them, Jason, Jacob, Jaron, Jared, JC, Jara, Jayla, and Shuby. Oh, Chuby's assistant manager there. He's doing great. What? Well, what? who is it? What's the name? Jason, Jacob, Jaron, Jared, JC, Jara, Jayla, and Chuby. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're high as hell. They're dressed up like nativity scene. And these uh, Senko, uh travelers pop out. They think they're in heaven. Somebody dressed up like a donkey, somebody dressed up like a shepherd, but they don't want to leave, even though they're being stored in uh, the back cooler at Dippy's Pizza Nativity, because they think that uh, it's a trick. You know how there's this sort of like, oh, I'm the victim mentality to a lot of modern religion, Jackie. Oh, we're under attack. They think that that may be Terry, why would that also not be in heaven? So they think that maybe God and Jesus are constantly trying to trick them into leaving heaven, which looks like a cooler in the back of a small pizza restaurant in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, staffed by teenagers who are constantly vaping, teenage shepherds, teenage constantly vaping shepherds, so they, Dippy's Pizza Nativity requests, if you have lost anyone to the sinkhole uh, or freedom, if you've lost anyone to freedom, the freedom of the sinkhole, uh, you might want to go down to Pizza Nativity and look in the back because they may be in there. Although they've noticed something weird. I don't even know if they should bring it up. Honestly. They just, if, if you come down here, then something may be off. Like I went down there, me and Chuby was talking to some people back in there. And I was like, hey, you know Jackie Brawls? Yeah, yeah, I love old Jackie Brawls. B-R-O-I-L-E-S. I was like, well, that's weird that you spelled it, but what do you mean? That Jackie Brawls, he's always spelled his name with an I. I'm like, what I, the hell? 
I ain't spelled it's a Y. What are you talking about? I don't. I know how to spell my name. What do you mean? Jimmy just started laughing. You know how he laughed. <laughs> I don't know who's going to do all these people. But I don't remember if it was Jacob or Jayla or Jara. Might have been Jace. He said, hey, I don't think I'm high on several different substances. And I'm 17 years old. My body is not equipped to handle the amount of substances. Of course, they're through it right now. Yet, I do believe that this streaming network between sinkholes may be connecting to alternate Earths. Jackie, have you ever heard of the Mandela effect? What? No. Have you ever heard of uh, a genie movie with Sinbad from the 90s? Um, no. How do you spell the Berenstain Bears? I, I, I don't know. Well, that's correct. They say that if you have never heard of the Mandela effect, that you're like most people who've never entertained the fact that there might be different versions of them uh, vibrating on similar frequencies throughout the multiverse. What? And these kids at night, Chuby lets them stay in there to party. And at night, they've been preparing to explore these interdimensional uh, sinkholes streaming networks it's because they say that if all these people are jumping out at and coming from similar earths, but they're still jumping into the sinkhole back where they come from, that those places can't be much better. But if they find a earth where people ain't jumping into sinkholes, we all going to move there. I might have to find that Earth's Dunlap and murder him. What? It's okay, Jackie. Don't worry about it. I'm sure that uh, you probably got it about as good as any Jackie Broils, no matter how they spell their name on any of these Earths. I mean, I can't imagine there's a Jackie Broils that's like president or Jackie Broils that's like rich or Jackie Broils that's handsome or in good shape or smells nice. You're probably one of the alpha Jackies, I'd say. What? I, I don't understand what you're saying. People jump in a hole and they come out smelling pizza and drugs and they think it's heaven. Uh, I. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I, but also, I don't really understand what I'm saying either. I'm just saying these kids may be onto something. Look, Dippy's Pizza Nativity is are my sponsor, and they say come check in the back and see if it's one of your freedom loving relatives. Uh, they need they can't get to the cheese, they can't get to the shredded lettuce. They need to get back in that cooler. So come claim your people that jumped in the sinkhole at the long last revival. Holiness Church, although they may not be exactly your people, they're close enough to claim. Come get them. They need to clear that place out. What's it, a doppelganger? What is uh-huh. it? That's exactly it. Well, think about this. Brother Wink Birchy runs Long Lasting Holiness Revival Church, St. Cole. But last week we talked about Brother Winky Birch. One of them does insurance. One is a holiness preacher. I don't know, honestly, which one is which. I started saying Wink Birchy, but I really could have been off. One they both goes- got a bunch of kids. They what? both look almost the same. They're both around the same age. They live next door to each other. They both worked at Kroger in high school. They both got fired at the same time for stealing candy. They both like to eat candy. Now, wait. But, How yeah. do you know... It's a whole other, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Dimension, reality, all that. What if you jump in the hole and it just changes you some and it's still you, but different when you get out on the other end? How do you definitely know that it's that instead of a whole different person? Fuck, you just blew my mind. I'm going to get high with these teenagers tonight and we are going to fucking... 
I don't know. Trip I'll out on that, old man. You want to come with us? God, hell no, y'all crazy hell. Supposed to be social distance. Y'all going to get close together, whether it's you or your double or whatever the hell it is when you get down in that hole. That, that, stay home. Don't I understand? I ain't telling you how to pray. I ain't telling you how to jump in a hole, mask or no mask or whatever. I ain't telling you what to come out of uh, in a pizza place. Do it, do it. Just do whatever you want. Freedom. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we gotta go. we're going to go explore these holes, Jackie. I'm not going also, nowhere. I ain't going to do it. We're stoned, and we're religious also. No. It's our religion. We're the no. challengers of the done stoned. Come on, Jackie. Come on down in this hole with us. Also, you come out the hole. If you go in the hole at church and you come out the hole with pizza and drugs, you get the, the drugs in you. You're going to think, oh, am I a preacher or an insurance salesman? I can't remember. I'm on drugs. <laughs>